Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In the video today, we will be sharing a new message from our Lord Jesus Christ. This message is given to Gisela Cardia. It is very important that all the faithful watching this video, that they watch it to the end. Our Lord Jesus, who is full of mercy and compassion, is reminding us of a very terrible event which will befall mankind. We do not want anyone to miss any part of the information given in this video, this is why we are urging you all to watch this message to the end. And we must ensure to share this message with friends and families. God bless you all. Let us pray, Our Father, who art in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. O God who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Message from our Savior, Jesus Christ. February 11, 2023, Saturday, 9.32 p.m. On the feast day of Our Lady of Lord Gisela Cardia, my Lord, I hear you calling me. My Lord, are you Father, Son or Holy Spirit? Jesus, my dear one, it is I, your Lord God and Savior, Jesus of Nazareth. Gisela Cardia, my sweet Jesus, may I ask you please? Will you bow down and adore your Holy Eternal Father who is the Alpha and Omega, the Creator of all life, of all that is visible and invisible? Jesus, yes my little one, I your Divine Savior, Jesus of Nazareth, will now and will always bow down and adore my Holy Eternal Merciful Father, who is the Alpha and Omega, the Creator of all life, of all that is visible and invisible. Gisela Cardia, please speak my Divine Lord, for your sinful servant is now listening. Jesus, my dear one, I have called you tonight to let you know war will soon be upon you land. It is time, now for all my apostles to make their final arrangements prior to the great war. It will be very difficult for them to go and purchase items at the stores after the great war begins. All transportation will be interrupted and supplies will be stuck in warehouses without anyone to move these items from or through state lines. This is when my children will begin to starve and lose the ability to feed themselves and their family members. Your country does not know war upon their land. Purchase your food and other supplies quickly. Then see how I, your divine savior, will multiply these supplies for your families. This war will certainly be the beginning of Armageddon. Many will die, many will not be buried and many will be roaming the streets with weapons to take from others. Make certain you have secure locks for your doors and say your holy rosaries throughout this time of war and famine so that your food and water supplies will continue to flourish and multiply. Prepare your homes for the three days of darkness when there will be no light in your world. Only blessed beeswax candles will light to help you through the darkness. Remember, you must not leave your homes when the three days of darkness begins. And I tell you now, do not open your door to anyone. No one is to be allowed in your home, not even if it is your children or it sounds like your children. For truly I tell you, it will be the disciples of evil, not your children knocking at your door. This is when the demons will wander throughout the earth. Gisela Cardia, O oh Jesus, this is too much. It is very frightening my holy Lord. Be in peace my dear one. This must all take place before my return. I will help guide my beloved apostles, turn to me your divine savior, turn to my holy mother. We will protect, guide and help carry you and your families through this great tribulation. Now go little one. Finish your prayers and get some rest. You will have a very busy day tomorrow. Gisela Cardia, yes dear Jesus. We love you. I love you too dear ones. Your divine savior, Jesus of divine mercy that comes the end of the message from our Lord Jesus. Brothers and sisters, in the message, if we had paid a close attention to texts, you would see where Anna Marie recommended to all of us to say the invisibility prayer of Saint Joseph. 
And also, this prayer is supposed to serve as protection for the faithful. If anyone amongst you want to see how to pray this prayer, please write to me on the comment section, and I will reply you with a link. We will be sharing another message from 2022. This message is a guide on how to prepare for the famine and the war. But before we proceed, let us ensure to thank our Lord Jesus Christ on the comment session for giving us this beautiful message. Let us also give this video a like. By doing this we will help this video reach out to many others in need of God's guidance. Amen. The Lord bless and keep you all. The next message is recommended for all apostles all over the world, in preparing for the war and famine. Please listen attentively to this message. Message from our Savior, Jesus Christ. What do in preparation for the war and famine before IT begins my beloved one? I have come to speak on what my apostles can do in preparation of the war and famine before it begins. First, place four blessed green scapulars in the four corners of your home. If you have two floors, place them on the second level in the four corners of your home. Next, place the canisters with medals in the four corners of your land and put the crucifixes over your doorways. The home protection kit will have all the necessary items and prayer in order for you to do so. If you use or make your own, you can still use the prayer which is to be said at each corner of your yard or land. Make sure you have all medals and crucifixes blessed before installing them. Next, pray your rosary daily and your chaplet of mercy too. In doing so, you will build a foundation of prayer that will turn into a regular routine. Attend daily holy mass if possible, in this way you will be strengthened for the days of sorrows which are soon to be here. Pray and pray more. Ask me what items you need to purchase or prepare before the great days of chastisement. I will certainly guide you to obtain, make or purchase. I love you all, my beloved children, and I will for each of you to live through the great days of sorrows. Do not be worried or afraid. Am I not your divine savior? I will save you, my dearest little ones. Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it will be opened unto you. I know and can see the great darkness that covers all countries now. My enemy and yours is and has been preparing an army of wicked spirits. Do not be afraid, I have already won the battle with him and he is now seducing anyone who does not love me and does not keep the holy commandments of our holy eternal father, my father and yours. I see also my church, I see the darkness that now covers the Vatican and the one leading it has refused to serve my father. He will be judged and answer to all his crimes. I have told to you before, vengeance is mine, saw ye the Lord, I shall repay. Your mission is to pray for those who require conversion now, and mine is to worry about how to work around or lead my beloved children away from their traps. The devil has and will continue to set up to destroy the faith of my church, which is you my beloved ones. Do not allow evil to take your peace away but rejoice in my love and protection for you and your families. Soon after the war, I will return, but that date is only known by my Father in heaven. So for now, keep a watchful eye on matters in your country and pray daily for your country. We will be sharing another message from 2022. This message is a guide on how to prepare for the famine and the war, but before we proceed, let us ensure to thank our Lord Jesus Christ on the comment session, for giving us this beautiful message, let us also give this video a like, by doing this we will help this video reach out to many others in need of God's guidance. Amen. The Lord bless and keep you all. The next message is recommended for all apostles all over the world, in preparing for the war and famine. Please listen attentively to this message. Message from our Savior, Jesus Christ. What do in preparation for the war and famine before IT begins my beloved one, I have come to speak on what my apostles can do in preparation of the war and famine before it begins. First, place four blessed green scapulars in the four corners of your home. If you have two floors, place them on the second level in the four corners of your home. Next. Place the canisters with medals in the four corners of your land and put the crucifixes over your doorways. The home protection kit will have all the necessary items and prayer in order for you to do so. If you use or make your own, you can still use the prayer which is to be said at each corner of your yard or land. 
make sure you have all medals and crucifixes blessed before installing them. Next, pray your rosary daily and your chaplet of mercy too. In doing so, you will build a foundation of prayer that will turn into a regular routine. Attend daily holy mass if possible, in this way you will be strengthened for the days of sorrows which are soon to be here. Pray and pray more. Ask me what items you need to purchase or prepare before the great days of chastisement. I will certainly guide you to obtain, make or purchase. I love you all, my beloved children, and I will for each of you to live through the great days of sorrows. Do not be worried or afraid. Am I not your divine savior? I will save you, my dearest little ones. Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it will be opened unto you. I know and can see the great darkness that covers all countries now. My enemy and yours is and has been preparing an army of wicked spirits. Do not be afraid, I have already won the battle with him and he is now seducing anyone who does not love me and does not keep the holy commandments of our holy eternal father, my father and yours. I see also my church, I see the darkness that now covers the Vatican and the one leading it has refused to serve my father. He will be judged and answer to all his crimes. I have told to you before, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I shall repay. Your mission is to pray for those who require conversion now, and mine is to worry about how to work around or lead my beloved children away from their traps. The devil has and will continue to set up to destroy the faith of my church, which is you my beloved ones, do not allow evil to take your peace away but rejoice in my love and protection for you and your families. Soon after the war, I will return, but that date is only known by my Father in heaven. So for now, keep a watchful eye on matters in your country and pray daily for your country. Gisela Cardia, yes dear Jesus. Jesus, pray also for your state, province, city and household. I love you my dear ones. I love you and hear all your prayers, I see your tears and I mend your broken hearts with my holy divine grace. Your divine Savior, Jesus of Nazareth. Gisela Cardia, thank you Jesus for coming and speaking to me tonight. Jesus, dear one, Gisela Cardia, yes Jesus. Jesus, please ensure this message is posted before 12 p.m. tomorrow. Gisela Cardia, yes dear Jesus, I will. Dear Jesus, all apostles around the world love you. Jesus, yes, they have helped mitigate many threats of destruction from evil dictators and persons. My apostles will be greatly rewarded in heaven by my eternal father and my heavenly mother. The glories they will receive in heaven will be beyond their human understanding because of their great love and prayers. Gisela Cardia, thank you Jesus. We are unworthy, my holy Lord. Thank you so much.